What's up everyone? Today I am going to be making um, some um, cauliflower and um, it's a recipe. It's a low carb recipe. The only thing fattening is the brown sugar and you can use low fat. There's a substitute for the brown sugar, but I'm using regular brown sugar. It's still going to be low, less fat than what I normally would have. So um, I'm going to Get the, I got the ingredients behind me. I'm going to take you guys and show you. We're going to start chopping up the cauliflower. And, um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. I'm trying lots of new recipes just to see if I like them, you know. I tried that cabbage recipe not long ago, and it was really good. So, the next time I make that, I want to do it in the Instapot. I want to try it in the Instapot. But for now, we're going to be baking some cauliflower in the oven. And um, I'm going to show you the ingredients. All right, everyone. All we're using, this is it. We're using the, the cauliflower. We got some brown sugar, um, some olive oil. We have some Grey Poupon, Dijon mustard. We have some sorry, sharp cheddar and some mild cheddar. Um, everything here it calls for. It does say you can use a substitute for the brown sugar, which I'm not going to. And um, it calls for cheddar. So the sharp cheddar, I'm just going to add with it. Hopefully we like it. We're going to throw it on a baking pan. I have an aluminum pan right there. We're going to cut it up, throw it on a baking pan, and um, see if we like it. Or maybe we'll mix it in a bowl. That way it'll be easier to mix, to mix up. All right, so here goes the cauliflower. I haven't cooked with cauliflower in a long time. So I know I like cauliflower. And I know some people say, oh, you can make cauliflower and it tastes like mashed potatoes. No, it doesn't. I don't think it does. That's just my opinion. Um, a lot of people use cauliflower in place of mashed potatoes or, you know, any kind of potato. I don't, I don't think it tastes like mashed potatoes. <laughs> I tried a, um, a pizza crust, cauliflower pizza crust, and I thought it was gross. So, am I going to like this? I don't know. I might like it. I might not. Hopefully I do. If not, we'll make some more cabbage. <laughs> we're gonna cut, um, I'm gonna get my knife and we're gonna cut that up. Here we go. Um, I can probably just cut it like this. Oh wow, yeah. I'm drop it on the floor. All right. Just cut them up in normal size pieces. Throw them in the pan. There's a whole bunch of them here. That's a big old chunk. You kind of want bite-sized pieces. That way, you know, all the seasonings get in, in and around it and everything. Like the um, mustard and the, um, the olive oil. I could probably put it in a Ziploc bag and shake it up, you know? I don't think I have a... I think I do have a bowl with a lid, but I think I sent it, sent something home with Henriette in it. Probably need to pick me up one. Okay. That's got a little brown spot on the top. We're going to get rid of that piece. Hopefully this <laughs> it's gonna be good. I think I might put it in a we'll see. 
I might put it in something where I can shake it up and really get the gray poupon and all that stuff all over it. Now that I don't have any little kids here that are picky, Haley doesn't eat with us much. She's always at her boyfriend's house. So, it's just me and Tyler. Me and Tyler is willing to try anything. All the foods that we never got to try because of the kids. I've been telling him about this recipe for a little while. He's been wanting me to try it. So. I don't remember how much the head of um, cauliflower was. I can't remember. It couldn't have been much. And it's um, definitely, definitely a better choice than, than, you know, mashed potatoes or macaroni. It's, um definitely more healthier so that's what I'm trying to do I want to lose like 30 or 40 pounds I'd really like to lose 40 pounds I was losing weight for a while until I started the dizzy spells and then um I stopped kind of stopped losing weight I don't know how that happened but it did all right get rid of some of the garbage everyone there it is if we like it next time I might get two things of cauliflower depending on how much we like it yep. all right let me see if I have that big bowl to shake stuff up in I don't know if I do or not I got this Oh, I do have the big bowl. All right, guys, I do have the big bowl. I'm going to shake it up in the big bowl. I'm going to mix it, and I'm going to shake it in the bowl, and then I'll dump it in the pan. This away, it all gets evenly coated. So the recipe calls for a head of cauliflower into bite-sized pieces mixed with one-fourth cup of Dijon mustard, three tablespoons of olive oil, one-third cup of brown sugar, top with cheddar cheese, salt and pepper to taste. It says 400 degrees for 35 minutes. So... We want three tablespoons of this. And this is extra virgin olive oil. Said three tablespoons. That's a lot of oil. 
Wouldn't you think that's a lot of oil? I think it's a lot of oil, but that's what it calls for, so we're going to use it. Three tablespoons. And it says one fourth cup of the Dijon. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wing the Dijon. I'm just gonna spray it in there. This is ten ounces, so it's um, eight ounces is a cup. I did that wrong in one of my videos. Mm, can't get that. I can't get it. So we're just going to squeeze some in there. You guys tell me when. <laughs> when a, oh, when's a fourth a cup up? That's probably right. All right. Now we're going to use some shark cheddar. I think we're just going to finish that off because it's almost there. And I'm going to shake it up and I'm going to put the mild cheddar on top when I put it in the pan. the way the Dijon gets everywhere. You can do this in a Ziploc bag too. All right. Oh yeah, looks good. Oh yeah, it definitely, definitely, you got to come closer. See how it definitely got um, mixed up pretty good. Um, we're going to get all this out of here. I'm going to put all this down in there. And you don't have to mix it up in a bowl like this. But I think it got, I think it, it got, um, the stuff spread on there better. Now, oh, I never preheated the oven. No way. I think it said 400. I always do 425 and then I put it back down to its temperature. Yeah, it said 400 for 35 minutes. Okay. This could be like a side. I'm going to throw a little bit of just mild cheddar on the top. The cheese is going to make it fattening, so um, if you're looking for not, not too fattening, I mean, I want a little bit of, you know, taste. I actually should season it, too. I want to put some seasons on it, too. Ooh, almost dropped you. Lots of pepper. I like pepper. Pepper gives it good flavor, and um, let's see. Pepper doesn't swell my legs up. Here's some onion powder. Now, all this stuff has got salt in it, so I do have to worry a little bit about, and here's some garlic powder, a little bit about, um, my ankle's swelling up. What else are we thinking, guys? A little bit of cavities. Who thinks it's going to be good? I think it's going to be good. All right, there it is. 
Um, I don't think I have to cover it. I think I just put it in the oven for 35 minutes. So while the oven is preheating, I will see you back in 35 minutes. Damn guys, I just thought about it. I forgot, I'm cleaning up my mess and I forgot the brown sugar. Luckily it hasn't been in there very long. I cannot believe I forgot the brown sugar. Probably the most important part. Shit fire. And it said what, a third cup of brown sugar? I cannot believe I forgot it. Now the brown sugar won't be shook up. Let me get a cup so I make sure I put the right amount. All right, guys, can you see it? I cannot believe. You guys were probably yelling at me. Like, you forgot the brown sugar. You forgot the brown sugar. And I was not listening. I just didn't want to put way too much brown sugar in I guess it's just gonna go on the top. Or I could probably mix it around. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot the brown sugar. I'm gonna put a little bit more, because it wasn't packed. All right. <laughs> I'm cleaning up my mess and I go to put, put this stuff away. I'm like, oh my God, I never put the brown sugar. What a dork. All right, guys. Luckily, it was only, you know, a couple minutes. I might have put too much. And you can put, like, less, or you don't have to put it, or I don't know. It called for brown sugar. Now it's not all shook up right, but, and I don't know how much. You know, once it cooks, I could probably mix it better, and it'll probably, it'll probably be good. But, there it is. We'll see. I'll throw it back in the oven. Oh my goodness. Alright. Here we go. I'll see you in about 35 minutes. Alright guys, Tyler's going to take it out of the oven. Take it out of the oven. We did 35 minutes. Yeah, you got to wave the, um, wave the, um, heat away. How's it look? What do you guys think? Let's stir it up. Ow, oh, mother frigger. Sorry. I mean, I need a, I need a thing. Look at it, guys. I think I cut my bite-sized pieces, really. They're my size bite-sized pieces. They're real small. It looks delicious, but I can't tell you how. Let me put a fork through it and make sure it got done. And then I'll take you guys over to the to the dinner table. It's not really a dinner. Um, it's just something. Oh, I mean, it feels okay. Some of them, like that one was a little crunchy. It probably could go back in a little bit longer. We did what? I, I think I did 35 minutes. Some of these little ones, though, feel like they're they're good. But I think they should go back in a little bit longer. So, 35 minutes to me. I mean, some people like, I like my vegetables mushy. Not real totally mushy, but I don't like them crunchy. Like, I, like, I don't like raw broccoli that much. I'll eat it, but I don't like it that much. So, I'm going to throw it back in the oven. You want to try a piece, Tyler? How is it? Is it soft or crunchy? That piece was soft, wasn't it? You sound a lot like you're wheezing, babe. Huh? You okay? Yeah. What's it taste like? I'm going to taste the piece. All right, guys. Alright, you guys are so crooked. You guys are really crooked.
right, everyone. I'm going to try a piece. Get it, Louie. I mean, it's okay. I would kind of prefer it to be a little more soft. And it could just be my oven. Mmm, that's pretty good. <laughs> I think I'm going to put it back in for 15 more minutes and then we'll test it again. But it's pretty good. And it's got a good taste. I don't know how many calories is going to be in this because of the brown sugar and cheese. You guys know cheese has got some calories in it. But um, I'm sure it's still healthier for you than, you know, macaroni and cheese. I'm sure it's not that many calories. But I'm going to put it back in for 15 minutes. All right, guys. We have one minute. I put it back in for 15 minutes. But now I'm pulling it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of there. Oh, it looks good. Looks bad. It looks good. I think it should be fine now. Do you guys see it? You could probably put less brown sugar in it. But, it, you know, it would make a good side dish. Um, I was looking up the brown sugar, and for the amount, um, you know, there is some calories in that. That's why they said use a... Uh, substitute with less calories but um could probably make it with just a teeny bit of brown sugar anyways I'll see you at the dinner table all right everyone um this was just something that I, I wanted to make a video making and um it would be great for a side there's I'm sure that myself and you guys will have other suggestions of how we can make it less calories because the cauliflower is really you know no calories, pretty much. Um, the Dijon mustard, it's got some calories in it. Not a lot. Um, the brown sugar is where the calories are. It's good. I think I might have put too much mustard in it. Maybe we could do it. I don't know. I think if I make... When I, I am going to make it again because it is good. But I think what I would do was use, is use less brown sugar. I can taste the mustard. And you got to remember that I used... What I use a third cup of brown sugar and um, I mix it in the whole pan. I'm not eating the whole pan, so really, it's not. It's probably not that bad. Probably not. I'm trying to justify it. <laughs> it's rather good. Mmm. Let me know if you guys try this. Let me know if it's if you guys have other recipes that um making cauliflower, making the cauliflower taste better. You know, I know a lot of people just steam it and eat it. But um this has a lot of flavor in it. I mean, there is a lot of flavor in it. So um it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily taste like cauliflower. Mmm. Maybe before I put this video together, because this video is going to be small. Um, I can try to figure out the calories in um in this I know I did did a cup of brown sugar was 555 calories but I didn't use a cup I used I think I used one third so that would be a lot less than a cup and like I said I don't know what the mustard is let me grab the mustard and see
Gotta find some glasses. All right, the cheese, you know, you can do less cheese too. And it would still have good flavor. Oh, this, this mustard's only five calories. Five calories a tablespoon. Okay, so we used, what did we use of this? Half a cup? I can't remember. Um, but five calories. I mean, I wonder how many calories is in the whole container. Does it ever say how many calories is in the whole container? The whole container doesn't. So usually it says how many servings per container. Sodium is 115 milligrams, which is not too bad, I guess. Zero carbs. It doesn't. It says... Oh, no. 57 servings. So, five times 57 is what? 200 and... I have to figure... I have to, I have to calculate that one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, 5 times 57 equals 285 calories. So that's not, and that's for this whole bottle. So we didn't use, we didn't even use half the bottle. Um, so that, you know, the mustard's not very many calories. So this might be one of my good low carb, um, you know, snack. It could be a snack, it could be a side for a meal. It's really good. I'll try to figure out how many calories is in it before I put you guys together. <laughs> I'm curious to know what Tyler thinks about it because he hasn't come out and gotten none yet. I could just eat a side of this for, for like lunch. Um, so I probably will be trying some different recipes with um, the cauliflower. I taste the mustard more than anything. Louis down here looking at me like, aren't you giving me a bite? He ain't gonna like this. Not at all. I mean, he might. Bella? Bella's doing backflips, guys. What was you going after your tail? It <laughs> did like four of them. What are you doing? It smell my good food. If you guys haven't seen the video where I made the um the cabbage broccoli, he's doing it again. Oh, I wonder if he's gonna do it again. There's something on his tail. We're gonna wait a minute and see if he does it again. Started to do it and Tyler walked in. It must be something on his tail. Bella, what are you doing? You doing backflips? What are you doing, Mr. Lou? 
I'm just waiting for a bite. <laughs> I guess Bella's done. All right, I'm almost finished eating. Tyler, are you gonna try it? It's got a, like a weird texture. It's probably the cauliflower, or it could be the mustard. I don't know what the texture is. I don't know how to, if I, if I try to explain it, you guys are gonna think, well, why is she even eating it? It's got like a, gr a gritty or a grainy texture. It's good though. I might get seconds because it can't be much calories. Mm. It's really good, guys. Oh my gosh, it's really, really good. I think I am going to get seconds. I'm trying to... It did take longer than 35 minutes, so... 35, 45, 50... I cooked it about 50 minutes. Could be my oven, so, you know, try it however you want to try it. Try the 35 minutes. If it's not done, throw it in for 15 more minutes like I did. Um, and I cooked it. I probably didn't even turn the stove off. I cooked it on 425, I think, or 400. I think it was 425. I think I forgot to turn it down. And I cut the pieces really small. I'm gonna grab some more. It's good. I'll just get a little bit more. If you wanna if you're cooking for a big family, you might want to do two heads of cabbage or not cabbage. Two heads of cauliflower. Because there wasn't I mean there's a not a lot in there, but I'm I'm not eating it as a side. I'm kind of eating it as my meal. So I will be making you guys some more low carb meals or low, low calorie. Like I just said in my other video, I want to lose, I want to lose at least 40 pounds. I would like to lose, I, I mean, I would like to lose more. But, for now, I would love to lose 40 pounds, and I know it might take me a while. I just, I'm, um, I gotta stick with it. That's my problem. I, I don't, I don't stick with things. Somebody will say, oh, here, I, you wanna go out to eat? I'm paying. And, of course, say, well, heck, yeah, I'm going out to eat. You're paying. Um... Or if somebody will say, you know, do you, do you want to go here or whatever? And then it involves drinking a drink that's full of sugar or eating a meal that's, you know, high in calories. I just need to learn to say, no, I'm on a diet. I did go out to eat with someone not long ago. They, they offered to take me out to eat. And I got a salad. But then after I got the salad and I started looking, you know, with the dressing and and all the stuff that was on this salad, the salad was almost 900 calories. I'm like, that, for a salad. I mean, I could eat a salad at home with a little bit of dressing and not put all that other stuff on it and still get full. So, yeah, I need to, I want to lose weight. I've been watching my steps. I've been trying to do 8,000 steps a day. Um... So, I am dropping a couple of pounds again here and there, but um, I got a problem. I got a scale right here on the floor, and I, I just keep weighing myself. Like, every morning, I'll weigh myself just to see if I'm down a pound or back up a pound. Um, and I know you're not supposed to do that. I know that you're supposed to, you know, weigh once a week, and that's it. And I need to get back on my treadmill, but I am getting um, my... I've been working out in the yard, so I am getting... My steps in in the yard, but on the treadmill you're at a, you're at a steady pace, steady pace, steady pace. So I do I should get on the treadmill and do at least two thousand steps a day. I don't know how long that would take, but two thousand steps or even a thousand steps. 
Uh, my doctor told me that if I would get up in the morning, which I'm not a morning person at all, but he said if I would get up in the morning and do 10 minutes on the treadmill, and then do 10 minutes at, at, at lunchtime, and then do 10 minutes in the evening, he says at a fast pace, he said that's, it's better to do it that way. To do a little bit, fast pace a little bit, fast pace a little bit, fast pace a little bit. He says I will see a big difference in, in my weight and my, you know, my body. I do need to tighten things up and all that good stuff. Um, so I guess even if I don't get up early in the morning, I could do it when I did get up. Usually when I do get up, I, I gotta hurry up and get ready to, to go do something. Um, excuses, excuses, excuses. You know what excuses are like? Um, and I'm not one of them, so. <laughs> So anyways, um, yeah, so wish me luck on my diet and I hope you're enjoying these, um, these, um, low carb meals and I will see you on the next video. Peace guys.